Welcome back to Movement Link. So today I'm warming up for a workout that has a bunch of one arm alternating dumbbell snatches in it. So I just want to kind of walk you through the thought process and uh, how we want to get this extra little bit and layer in this extra little bit of movement practice to make it into our warm up to prepare us for the day. So as we're working out at home, uh, it's extremely common just to get caught up in the let's go, 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 let's get this started. And then it's really common, especially in these types of high int intensity workouts, to get caught up in just the go, go, go aspect of it. And we need to always be layering in that extra little piece of developing the technique uh, and our body positions. That way uh, we bring in this longevity and pain free and resolving uh, issues throughout our life and throughout our training. So. Uh, layering this stuff in is not that difficult. So as we're warming up, we should be doing some end range dynamic uh, warm up exercise things. And then we need to move from that general warm up practice into more specific practice. Uh, and that's going to be doing things that work towards doing the exercises exactly like you're going to do them in the workout. So uh, if we've got one arm dumbbell snatches in the workout, we can start more general just by working on what the end range positions are and just giving me a second to sit there and check in. So I'm going to set up first. I'm going to check in with my body position, butt tight, belly button drawn in, Kegel, both feet are flat on the floor. I'm creating that torque, rib cage down. I stand tall, rotate my shoulders back and forth. Uh, with this dumbbell position, I like to just keep it facing this way the whole time so I can prioritize that externally rotated shoulder position overhead. So remember, I'm not trying to mimic what overhead would look like with a barbell. I'm trying to mimic what I would do with the barbell and I would be twisting in and the dumbbell is actually going to twist. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, do a, a quick little dumbbell snatch and I'm going to pause up top. What I'm doing is I'm not just sitting here pausing for the sake of pausing. My butt is tight, belly button's drawn in. So what I'm really doing here is I'm taking a second to feel or is my weight balanced on my feet? Am I all the way locked out? Am I forward back? Is my belly button drawn in, butt tight? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back down to a hang position and pause right there. I'm looking at, is my weight even on my feet? Is my belly button drawn in? So I'm just looking at these positions, pausing in them, checking in, making sure that as I'm hitting these end positions, I'm spending a little bit of time just developing that brain connection, making sure I'm firing everything the right way. That way, when I'm out of breath, stressed out in the workout, muscle fatigue, things get hard. I'm not, it's not the first time I'm trying to check in on these positions. I've got it kind of going. So after I do a few just kind of partial range from the hang there, then I'm going to go all the way from the ground. So I'm going to drive it up. I'm going to give it a little pause, check in. Then at full speed, I'm going to go down, but I'm going to pause right at the ground. Again, I'm making any adjustments I need to make, checking in on all my body positions, making sure that I'm in the right areas, and I'm just making any corrections I need to make. So after I do a few of those on each arm, just one hand, keeping it simple, then I'm going to work into switching hands. So as I go up, I'm going to give it the pause to check in. Then I'm going to come down, switch hands, give it the pause right there. I can also go straight down to the ground. So long story short, <clears throat> really what we're doing is going through that get tight checklist. And then we're just picking some positions in the movements that we're going to do. And then we can put our focus in on, are we drawing the belly button in? Is the weight staying centered on the feet? How's this overhead position looking like? And then we can move that uh more general warm-up to more kind of general warm-up prep into the specifics of now let's see if we can link these together hitting the positions we just worked on then i'm going to start looking forward and looking ahead to the workout what exercises uh, are in there but what are the specific strategies so then i'm going to ramp up this type of specific wad prep into going the speed I'm going to go in the workout. And then I get as much practice uh, and reps and technique work in 
as you can tell I'm out of breath trying to talk here, as uh, I'm pre also prepared for the workout. So adding in these extra layers doesn't take more time. This is warm up you should already be doing, but it's adding in that extra little thought process behind how are we warming up? Now we're in the workout, we're gonna give it that little bit extra thought. Uh, and adding in that little extra layer day after day after day after day, that's what really leads to longevity and really developing your body the way you want to. All right, so play around with that uh, and enjoy. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.